It is Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is uh, Dr. Drew. And according to one of the Loveline fans, the smartest man alive. Shauna? Yeah. <clears throat> so, do you have any kids? I do, as a matter of fact. Mm, see? Uh -huh. We're not answered. It breaks my hymen when I hear that. <laughs> How many? Shauna? I have two. And this is your husband we're talking about? Yes. All right, let's just recap here. Shauna's husband recently, right? Yes. Asked you to eat a sandwich that was made with armpit hair, right? Correct. Mayonnaise. Right. Bread. Like in armpit hair. Right. right. And what about a little mustard in there? No, no mustard. You don't like mustard? I do, but he didn't have any on that. I see. Okay. And <laughs> how much armpit hair would you say was in there? Uh, probably a fourth of a cup. Really? So it was. How do you? How do you harm? Did he cut it off? He shaved it off with razors from Chevron. From Chevron. Yes. See, yeah, I nice figured detail. he was using a Mobile or Exxon razor. That's no. Thick. I thought thick all the way. They well, were Gillette, and he bought them at Chevron. Oh, oh. I see. He bought them at Chevron. Uh huh. Okay. That's almost too much detail. <laughs> and wh where did you buy the bread? Is that at Thrifty? Uh, huh? Where'd you, where'd you buy the bread and the mayonnaise? Or, like uh, trace the origin of the sandwich. At Conoco at the convenience store. I see. Okay. All, all gas station bought. Good. I see. Yeah. Does he work at a gas station? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay. Was it important? How oh, dare you? Was it important that you tell us where he bought the razor? Yes. It was. Yes. That's going to factor in at some point here. Okay. No, they were just crappy razors. I see. The one wasn't even a nice razor. Maybe the truck driver that sort of. I see. That. What's he do for a living? He works uh, with children. Excuse me? Does he work with children? No, he doesn't. I see. What What does he do? He um, does uh, wiring harnesses for F-16s. Oh, military. Recurring. He works for the defense program. Oh, so he is he out here? Or is he in Atlanta? Where is he? No, in Utah. Oh, in Utah. Uh-huh. Oh, all right. Fantastic. These are the kind of men we went working on these airplanes. Yeah. So he, he trimmed all of the hair from both armpits? Yes, all of it. All of it, yeah, and he put correct. it in the sandwich, and you ate the entire sandwich. That's correct. And what did he do in response to that? What did he do? Yeah. Well, it got, he got turned on off of it. Ejaculating. Was he touching himself while you are doing it? No, but afterwards he was. And did you guys make love afterward? Yeah. Okay. That must have been beautiful. I bet you heard violence. <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, did you uh, uh, cough up a fur ball at some point? I mean, how does that work? I Yeah, and I still feel like I'm going to. Yeah, but yeah. you moved and, along the food chain a little bit. And, huh? Shana, why? Okay. I don't want to get into why yet, but now, what was his second request? The ass grass. He went, he went right to that? He went right yeah. to that. Yeah. Now, that's just ass hair? Yeah, with a side of brown sauce. And how is he planning to harvest this stuff? Is the side of uh, brown sauce what we think it is? Yes, it is. I see. Um, does it have to be still? Uh, have you ever tasted Vegemite, Shana? Excuse me. It's worse. It's the, <laughs> Vegemite is is still a little bit worse than what we're talking about here. Okay. So you could you for this. With you the... could have married in Australia oh. and done worse. But uh, he was going to uh, shave his ass now, right? Yeah, with electric clippers. Electric clippers onto yeah. another sandwich? Yes. This sounds like a hero or a hoagie size sandwich, though, right? It probably would be, yeah. So you can the type of bread. And then take a little fecal matter and put it on there? Uh-huh. On the sandwich? Yes. So it's really not a side, after all. Well, no, not necessarily. No. And, uh... And... And maybe a little ranch that he produced uh, on the side there for you. For <laughs> maybe. And are you entertaining the notion of eating the sandwich? Not really. No. I'm wondering if it's going to be a problem with him. Well, he why did you eat the first fur sandwich? Well, I ate the first one to win some concert tickets. Was this like a radio contest or something? Uh-huh, yeah. You left that out. <laughs> Oh, starting to scare me a little. Wow. <laughs> what concert did you go to? Like uh, Ario Speedwagon or something? Uh, I Jim haven't Rose's. gone yet, but it's um, Poison, Dawkins, 
Cinderella and Slaughter. <laughs> ah, it's the Hansons of Rockdor. <laughs> yeah, they blew through here the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're in uh they're like Irvine or something. Oh. All right, so you did this as part of a radio stunt. Yeah. And and are you calling from Cleveland? No, she's calling from Utah. Oh, that's right, Utah. So that sort of puts it into context, doesn't it? That's a big word that means well, it I makes sense purpose. now. It creates purpose. Yeah, that's right. What? What's that? I wonder if it's going to become a major problem. So, so you sort of feel that you triggered something, you unleashed something. Yeah. And now, and now he's taking it to the, the ultimate. Uh, oh, yeah. The but let, me, let me tell you something. Uh, the S sandwich is, uh, if, if you ate armpit hair for a poison and dock, and the S sandwich has to be uh, the three tenors uh, on New Year's. With Barbara Streisand opening, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's gonna take more than uh, you know Uriah Heat getting back together for you to eat an ass sandwich, right? Right. And you, there may be no concert tickets in your future; it may just be pure ass, right? That's true. All right. So how how hell bent is he on uh, this next sandwich? And doesn't that make you nervous to be married to a man who wants you to eat his poo? It uh, really it makes does. me nervous. Oh, yeah. Sort of a yeah. sort of a bad sort of symbolic sign, you know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. Is he aggressive in other ways? Um, sometimes, yeah. Is he is he physically abusive with you? Uh, no. Just real aggressive. Yeah. And yeah. how old are your kids? Nine and ten. Oh, I hope they're girls. One girl, one boy. Oh, listen. No, this is too much for the girl. Okay, but listen, don't don't let him abuse that boy, and then he goes to school and starts feeding up other kids and all that kind of crap, right? You take care of those I kids? I would. Don't let him screw with those kids. No, I wouldn't do that. And, and Shauna, you need to sort of stand up for yourself, would you? Stop eating uh, so much poo. Humble pie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and don't have any more kids, all right? I won't. I won't. I'm I'm uh, deeming you unfit. <laughs> Okay. I mean, really, your 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 kid's gonna you know have an M eight of them tossing M eighties into the fireplace while your daughter's roasting marshmallows and you're just gonna be laughing like a hyena. <laughs> you, you think it's a good idea to eat a hair sandwich? Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. That's what I'm wondering. If he, he's yeah, but, the one who wants to do it. Yeah, but the fact that you're even wondering and that uh, and that right. he's asking, all right, is what scares us. Yeah, what goes on in that house? Why does, how does this work? Oh, Drew, could you imagine you saying to your wife, Oh, <laughs> I would just eat a sandwich. Yeah, that's right. We're out of uh, pate and escargot. How about a sandwich? Can you imagine you saying to your wife, uh, I'd like to take this uh, little uh, duke and uh, <laughs> spread it on spread it on a Kaiser roll? Thank and God. God bless her that she would not even entertain in fact, I, 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 she, yeah. oh, she, she, she called police. She could use a little of that, though. She called All police. women could benefit from just a little S, just a little poo consumption gene in them. Oh, my God. Your, your wife, what she would do to your nuts with her shoe would be amazing. She would actually, you know, I think instead of just kicking you in the nuts, she would actually pull your nuts off, <laughs> take them to a concrete slab, and beat them with her shoe. Like, hold them down and beat them with one of her cups. As they, as they jump around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it, it, Anya? yeah. No, listen, listen, Shana, no more kids, and don't eat any more stuff that comes off your husband. <laughs> Tanya, and let me just—I got to check one quick thing with Tanya. Shana, I mean Shana, sorry, Shana. What? Uh, do you swallow during oral sex? Of course. Okay, <laughs> I'm about to be outraged if you didn't. <laughs> 